Alex Chemerov here at Movements for Life. Today's restorative segment is going to take us to a global mobility exercise for the adductor group. Now the cool thing, once we start going all global, uh, these exercises are naturally much more integrated, uh, multi-dimensional, and authentic. So by that I mean that there's going to be um, gravity, momentum, and ground reaction forces that are naturally going to be incorporated into it. Um, and again, um, not to keep beating a dead horse, but these global exercises are designed to kind of reconnect the body with the nervous system. So um, we kind of want to have all those components there to help create that authenticity or that, um, that just natural connection again that the body is how it's wired to move. Uh, so for the adductor group, what better way than to do some stepping lunges? Now the cool thing is, for example, in the sagittal plane, when I step forward and kind of squish into this hip, what happens is, even though I'm gonna be going after my adductor group in the back leg, my forward leg, I'm gonna be getting some nourishment to the posterior hip. So with all these global exercises, there's gonna be a very blurred line for kind of what we're working. Um, there's gonna be, again, that natural integration where once I start incorporating the upper body, having some arms and leg drivers at the same time, I'm gonna get some scapular stuff going on, some core nourishment. So there's gonna be a lot of different um, feeders into different parts of the body, if you will. Um, so again, even though I'm going after adductor group, just keep in mind that my front leg, my, uh, my front leg glute is gonna be doing a lot of deceleration and, and down to the hamstring. So that said, when I get into that forward lunge and when my pelvis um, kind of squishes to my forward glute, my back leg is in a position of abduction, right? Because my leg is technically away from my pelvis. I just moved my pelvis to get there. So that's putting a lot of load on my back leg adductor um, in the frontal plane. And additionally, my back leg, my back foot posture should be in a position of supination. So there's gonna be a, a, an element of external rotation going on at that back leg, which is gonna put a nice tug at that adductor group. So all I'm gonna do is step forward with my right leg and I can do this alternating for uh, my purposes today. I'm just gonna go and keep this unilateral. So I can just kind of groove into the same spot. So you can see, I'm actually just gonna reach with my opposite hand towards my instep. And that's just gonna create a nice driver where it's telling me essentially, reach down to the foot, the hip is gonna shove out to the side, and I'm gonna get, again, great load into that adductor group. I'll just go to the opposite side just to Make myself a little bit more even. Don't want to be kakai. All right, so sagittal plane, stepping forward. I got a little bit of a diagonal step going on here just to get a little bit more of that frontal plane adductor. If I go a little bit too narrow, then it's going to be a lot harder. I'm going to have a little less balance, a little less load going onto that adductor. Frontal plane, I'm just going to do a simple same side lateral lunge. I'm going to do that same driver, reaching towards the instep, and now as I get there, my right hip is higher than my left, so I got awesome load going through here. My knee is in, I'm not rolling out to the side, so I got some nice posterior hip going on on my right. My back, my uh, left foot is in a position of supination, so I'm getting some nice load and unload going through my left groin, and also my right posterior hip. Driving some nice thoracic rotation. So I'm essentially pulling back with my left arm as I'm driving down with my right. So again, just keep nourishing all these different systems of the body. And then last but not least, we'll go through our same side rotation. So that will look like this. This open step is gonna get a little, little more kind of medial hamstring group as well due to the nature of the step and where I'm going. So adductors, the neighbors to the inner hamstring are the adductors. So you're gonna kind of disperse that load nicely through both those groups. Keeping my stance foot nice and stationary.
there you have it. All right, so again, a lot of carryover. That was primarily targeted for my adductor group in the back leg as it relates to gait, right? TZ1, TZ2. TZ1 is the forward leg and gait. Uh, TZ1 is the forward leg and gait. TZ2 is the back leg and gait. Um, so both, both legs getting nourished with that move. So give it a whirl. Um, it's just a great way to just ungunk the hips, especially if you've been sitting for large portions of the day and that'll get you nice, primed, and ready for your movement patterns for the workout. So enjoy, thanks for watching, thanks so much.